Off to the world famous McNutt area today to ride some rocks, roots and rock slabs. When it comes to epic trails, it's hard to go past McNutt. The perfect place to work on our dirt riding technique in rocky terrain. A lot of rocks here. I'm just trying to do the uh, the stuff that makes it a bit easier. Everybody knows the standard default body positioning, hopefully, which is lower vertical legs and uh, butt out to the rear and elbows up. And what you can do in rocks like this is you you even go a little bit further to the rear because it lightens the front. So when the front gets um, booted around by rocks, there's not much weight on it, so you've got more chance of recovering. And then you, you squat a bit lower, just to lower your center of gravity, and your legs can absorb more of the bumps. rocks you can wear yourself out in no time if you hold the bars too tight so the key of course is grip the bike with the knees so uh, so you're not using just your upper body strength and uh, I'll be doing that plenty today well, I've got the steg pegs on just to make sure I last three days of this riding I was just thinking too, there's an awful lot you can do about energy conservation when you're riding. I mean, this sort of stuff doesn't give you a lot of chance to relax. And, um, but yeah, you, your throttle control is very important. You want to go pretty, whoa, very easy on the throttle. I'm loving some bits here. You can, there are so many rocks and kickers to use as, um, so rocks and roots to use as kickers to jump over shit. One of the amazing things about riding around here is there are so many rocks and roots and uh, you might have say three or four roots in a row but you just launch off the first one. It's just the old weight and de-weight the bike just as your suspension's rebounding and you get an awful lot of lift out of your bike to get over some pretty snotty stuff. He's so dumb he could throw himself on the ground and miss. If you ride in a lot of rocks and tree roots, often a set of ultra heavy duty tubes should be your minimum, or even better, get into the tubeless setup or mooses. Like I said it the other day, so lucky I've got these mooses on, because uh, you can really hit stuff. I mean, you guys know I've got tubeless on the bike at home, but uh, Mooses just provide you with another level of protection and if you don't mind the cost, it's all good. Rock slabs can be very intimidating. These slabs have an uneven approach, they are both off camber and there's a slippery wet patch in the middle just to complicate things. Here comes Reese. Go Reese, come on. Come on, Shane. Vancouver Islander. Woo! Woo Get as much momentum as possible on the run up so you can coast up the slabs and avoid wheel spin. Oh, 
stand if possible in the default position and crouch low to avoid wheelies. Oh, that's not too bad. Sitting makes it very easy to flip the bike. <laughs> Okay, anybody for a sauna? I think we'll just uh... <laughs> go, Reese. Come on, mate. Use throttle and clutch control to pick where to get traction and when to back off and avoid wheel spin. <laughs> Won't make it. Learn how to dismount and lay the bike down instead of that last ditch attempt with too much throttle. Here comes Laurie again, go girl. Wheelie onto steeper rock faces, then absorb the impact with your legs. A good challenge is give yourself minimal run up then get as much momentum as possible in a very short distance. Laurie's trying the short run up. Get others to spot for you to reduce the oh, risks. Spotters, spotters, nice work. Really good work, Brad. And remember, spotters, jump in fast. Spotters. It can all happen really quickly. Oh! <laughs> I want to see me use this kicker, I bet I bugger it up. You can use kickers to hit a rock face faster or get up a near vertical one with more safety. rocky terrain, try and stand and keep your feet on the pegs for as long as possible. Getting unstable? Keep standing but paddle with one leg as needed. As it gets tougher, then sit and paddle with one or both legs. Stand again as soon as possible. Stuff's so fun to ride, trying not to put a foot down, it's like a trial section. Second gear and lots of clutch slipping here on these slippery rocks. Ah, one foot down. This epic terrain is all in McNutt, Blue Mountain, in British Columbia. We'll talk more about this brilliant riding area near Vancouver in the next video. And remember, watch out if you grab a Sasquatch by the crotch. <laughs>